Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tuesday Tips and today I will be teaching you guys how I make things glow. So the other day I got this question on one of my previous videos uh, where I drew a glowing uh, mermaid uh, witch and they were asking me how I made it glow and how you would do that in, in digital uh, programs, uh, specifically Procreate, but for me it's the same if I do it in Photoshop or in Procreate. There's no a magical layer style that would do this for you, it's only a few steps. So I thought that would be perfect for a little Tuesday tips and I'll try to keep this short and simple. So let's just get to it. So I have one little creature here pre-drawn and I've copied them three times and I'm going to show you three different glow. Um, so the first one is the no-no glow. <laughs> this is the, the mistake that most new digital artists do. Um, they tend to do this because it's simple and they think that this is how it works. Uh, and I know this because I used to do this so... And I thought it looked good but now I know that it wasn't quite right. So what they do is they usually they pick a bright color like a bright blue or bright pink or whatever and they fill the whole base layer, base color layer with it, or what they want to glow. And then they'll double click that and then press outer glow. So if you don't know how to do this, you, you double click on the layer and then you press outer glow. This is a layer style. And then they make that bigger and just keep it white. Sometimes they keep it like color, like that, but usually I see them, um, and I did this as well, keeping it white. And I guess it kind of makes it glow, but the reason it looks like it's glowing because of the fuzzy, fuzzy outline going around. But it doesn't really glow. So the the trick to make things properly glow when you you're drawing is to think of what's glowing as a light source. Anything that's glowing that has a glow, like a lamp or a firefly or star or sun, will be a source of light and anything that is a source of light will start white bright bright in the middle and then out from that middle it'll create some kind of color or some kind of glow and that is what makes different glows different colors so if you have the sun for example i'll just make a different layer here you have some so the sun we would usually say glows yellow or hot right so I'll do this to this, and then in the middle from there, a light source will always be near, near white. And it doesn't matter how far away it is, we'll always, always think of it as near white. Um, it does work, it's the same thing when it's kind of faint glow, that just depends on how far the glow is stretching, like how big it is, so if this, this thing had like a bigger glow, and maybe a brighter glow. So this one's pretty, pretty faint, but you can easily make it stronger by having more color that's reaching further. So it's all about keeping that hot spot in the middle very, very bright. So the first glow, well, I guess the second glow I'm gonna show you is fire, because what people usually paint is fire. And what I would do is I would start with a very bright yellow. I usually don't want to start with the white because I don't want the whole thing to be the source light. I only want a certain part. So I'll just give him this yellow. And then I'll move my slider even more towards the white. And I'll make his head the source of light. And then move that even more to the white. And also when I'm doing glow stuff, I keep, I use a very fussy soft brush and I keep my flow very low. I do not lower my opacity because it seems to mess things up for me. So I'll keep it like this and I'll also just put this a little bit towards the orange. So now his heads is the source of light. 
So going up from there, you have the yellow, and then I'll give it some more orange, because when you do fire when you're younger, it's yellow, orange, and then red. But here is white, yellow, orange, and then red, so we'll do the same thing. Give it some more orange, and then, and then going up from the base layer, this is just on the color base layer. I'll make a new layer and put that underneath. And then I will choose a little bit of a darker orange and put that around. Still keeping in mind that the head is our source of light. I'll make this a little bit darker. Because why not? And then I give it a little bit more of an orange outside as well. And sometimes there's a little bit too much. Whoops. So I'll bring it back down a bit in the eraser with the same settings as my brush. Like so. Also, if you want to make things more vibrant, if you press Command U, you'll get this little hue slider up, and you can slide things, slide things around. So there you go. There is my little glowing creature. So you can definitely see that this guy is glowing. His head is just on fire. <laughs> I am going to color my line art. So I lock my line art just as I showed you how to lock your base layer. Uh, and then sometimes I like to give him just like a white outline. But for this one, I am going to give him um, bright red outline just to like make it fit in with the glow. Just a black outline won't make him glow as much as, as with colored outline. So there we go. Now he is properly glowing. So for the second version I am going to show you a little bit of a different glow. Um, I call it kind of a ghosty glow um, and I'll start with a pretty dark purple color like so and then I'll just make it a little bit darker. Because on this one, I just want certain parts of him to glow, not the whole head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my brush a tiny bit smaller. And then I'm going to move the slide a little bit more down to the blue and then up. And I'm going to make this part glow, this part glow, and this part glow. I'll just do a little bit like that. So it'll be kind of like a galaxy glow. Turn the slide a little bit lower, a little bit more bright. So the, the closer we get to the actual source of light, the more, the brighter it will be. So I'm using quite a lot of color because I, <laughs> I like quite a lot of color. Like so. Then we go all the way to bright, bright turquoise and continue working on the hot spots where I want the light to be coming from. It a little bit smaller and then all the way at the bottom of these ones I just make my brush even smaller towards the hot spot and like that and then even smaller choose a white color and I'm gonna zoom in on this make tiny dots like that kind of like it's tiny fireflies or something in this little creature and just kind of like floating around like so and now to make this even glow even more I'm gonna make a new layer above the base layer choose my big fuzzy brush again still down on flow and choose a white color. This is a little trick that you can do, but I won't recommend you to do it too much. Uh, just like go over the hot spots that you created, go down and put this on color dodge, and then double click on your layer so you get a layer style, and then uncheck these two boxes. It'll <laughs> just make everything pop. I usually lower the opacity a little bit so you can see the difference between 
on and off on these two just to make it a little bit brighter so and then again behind my base layer I'm gonna give it some more of a purple glow just extend the glow a little bit because it's not just within the lines this is glowing it's outside as well there you go now it's probably gl properly glowing and then to finish it off I'm gonna color my lines again put it on lock and then I'm gonna color it all white this time and then put it on overlay so it becomes kind of this ghostly kind of feeling so there you go guys that's two different ways of making it glow also uh, when it comes to the red um, fire glow it's very very easy to just merge all the layers if you dare <laughs> then press command u and then you have this little hue slider here where you can slide the hue so you can get different kinds of glows you have a green glow, a blue glow, and maybe more red glow. And you get it. Um, it's very easy. It's the same for everything. Just start with the base color and then find out where the source lights it and then build it out from there. So yeah guys, that's it for this Tuesday tips. I hope you guys learned something. If you like this video, you can like it if you like. And if you like these kinds of videos, you can subscribe. I do videos every Friday, sometimes Sundays. And now I'm doing Tuesday tips on Tuesdays. So um, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. And I'll see you all on Friday. Bye-bye.